And then all that, I guess you bring them in as you deplete them on the inside. And you had a gentleman there and he was dumping the apples from the boxes yeah. into this machine. Yeah. And yeah. what was that machine? Well, that's a cider press. That's making the cider that everybody loves to drink. So what's the process? Go ahead and explain the process to me. Well, Gene's got to really watch as he's pouring those apples in to make sure they're good apples. He wants to be sure we put good apples in. Good apples make good cider. Good. Right. right. Um, but the apples went up a conveyor belt. I think you might have seen that. And at the very top of the conveyor belt, you sort of you kind of wave goodbye to them because then they fall into a big crusher. Right, which I didn't see the crusher. It's kind of hidden. Right. Falling into. That's right. That's right. And then on the other side of that, they open up the crusher, and the crusher pops all. So what's in the crusher, though? The apples are getting crushed. How oh, they get crushed? Blades. There's these blades, these big knives in there. They like, chop it, chop, 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 chop. And then it gets it like all mashed up. Yeah. And those guys are pulling it out. What is that thing they're pulling? Well, that's something that holds the apples in there. After it gets chopped, it comes down onto a plate. Actually, there's a plate, and then there's a big piece of burlap fabric. Okay. And it lays down on that. And once they get plenty in there, inside the frame of the plate, then they fold. But they spread it out, though. They, they were spread spreading. it out a lot. And make it like about mm, maybe two or three inches deep. Yeah. A mash. We call right. that mash. Right. Mash. Well, it got mashed. That makes right. sense. Right. You're right. mashing right. it, and it's called right. mash. Then he makes, they put a plate on, then they may put down another big piece of fabric, a, a burlap, and the frame is there, right? And all the mash gets in and they fold it over again. So they keep yeah, doing this keep over doing and over, I don't know why they kept doing over and over. And you know, it's the, the, um, the um, cider from the apples from the mash, it was dripping off the thing. Oh yeah. It was just dripping down and all these layers and it's drip, drip. What a sticky job that is. Really? Well, you know, it doesn't really drip until you get all eight layers. Eight layers. And then they get the big presser that comes they down. They pull it right. underneath this press. I saw them. Yeah. They grabbed a rope and they pulled it yeah. underneath. Eight layers. I didn't get eight yeah, layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the press, go ahead. And then the juice starts to come out because boy, it's getting squeezed. Boy, you're not kidding. I was Cider watching squeeze. squeeze at that thing and yep. the juice is coming out and, yep. and then it, and there's a stainless steel, I guess, which on this part of the machine at the end, yeah. it's, contain, it's yeah. collecting it. Yeah. And yeah. it's running off into a bucket. It looked like a bucket. A big, big uh, kind of squarish bucket. And then from there, it needs to get into the bottle. So it has to go through the tube. I saw it going to the ceiling. Yeah. And you can see the brown, the clear tubes. You can see the brown cider. Yeah. And then it drops down. Into a big old vat. And then somebody is at that vat and they're filling up the um, gallon or half gallon jugs 